Hello and welcome back to Sprite Guard Plays Hyper Rogue. Today we've got a couple of differences. One is a very recent update. Um, I believe 9.1F added a little bit of a 3D effect, which I thought I had set, but let's see if I can turn it on. So it's in basic configuration, it's in monster display mode, and uh, we're just going to go with 3D and uh, save the current config. That's what I forgot to do last time. So now we have a little bit of a 3D effect, a little bit of a parallax effect on our character that works very well. And the, uh, the other monsters will have a more dramatic effect because they're further away. We're going to see what they look like when they're tilted a little bit more. We're also playing Chaos Mode. This is a mode that I'm not very familiar with. I don't have a lot of ideas for dealing with it, but we have a Land of Eternal Motion right here. And so we're going to start out by gathering up some Phoenix Feathers and seeing if we can uh, get that Orb of Safety squared away. And there we go, that's the last of that. So now we're going to head into the desert. Now what I haven't really figured out that I've kind of been contemplating is... I don't really know whether it's better to finish out lands in the way that I'm used to or just kind of do more of a free and easy wandering and uh, just pick up whatever treasures I happen across. Like here, we haven't even started on the icy land, so let's grab a treasure from there and see if we can find some stuff. This desert man is going to give us some trouble if we don't deal with him quickly. We can pick up some treasures just from uh, from different lands. Now, I think the danger in this is we're going to have monsters pursuing us from more different lands if we do this. Uh, because we're kind of... The, the thing about Chaos Mode, there's no walls. And so the risk we run is that uh, we're basically drawing aggro from every zone now. Or at least every zone that we have... Well, I mean, I guess every zone has some amount of aggro, uh, even when you don't have any treasure. So there's our 10 uh, spice. And then we just need one more of the ice diamonds, and then we'll be done with this area. Though we're going to continue to be, you know, running into all different areas. And I uh, might, let's see, don't want to escape into the Land of Eternal Motion because it looks like there's too much going on there. So I like, I like the 3D effect. I think it looks good. I, I like especially the parallax effect on the main character. I, I think it works. And uh, I've yet to see any orbs in this mode, so we'll have to take a look at what those look like. Uh, looks like the Alchemy Lab is the next thing that we have not gotten any, uh, gotten all of our treasures from. One, I mean, one thing that I'm noticing a really uh, prominent effect is, oh dear, we are in some trouble. Let's see. Okay, we can escape this way into the minefield. Uh, it's it's just it's a lot harder to find treasures because there's a lot less of any given land around you and so it's it's going to be i i'm starting to lean toward um kind of more more certain about you know using the approach of treating it as like we'll we'll grab we'll grab whatever happens to be available let's see yeah so we can clear around that and that'll give us yeah, that'll give us visibility into there, and then this rattling will actually reveal a safe tile for us. So this one we can then clear around, uh, but then we, we get into a situation where we can't, so we loop around here. Gonna have to deal with this ivy, which it looks like... Alright, it's, uh, it's not gonna be the easiest to deal with, but if we hit it back a little bit, it should slow down. And then we can come back around here. Let's see, clear those. And that gets us to the treasure. And then we can get that one. Let's see, we know what this one is satisfied. There we go, we know that this one is satisfied. And that one, 
Let's see, we know that one. And then we can come over here toward this egg. How many eggs? We only have three, all right. So we have quite a bit of work cut out for us. Let's see, that will tell us that one, which tells us that one, which tells us that one. And we know all those are safe, so we can hit him. Good, 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 everything is good. Uh, now, I noticed um, that, I, want, I wonder if this counts as a land in the zebra, oh yeah, that's a zebra tile. I was a little confused because it's um, hexagonal, and, uh, and I noticed that uh, it didn't turn green when the monster crossed it. So I was a, a little bit confused by that, but apparently it is technically a zebra tile. So, every, everything's going well. I kind of, I, I feel a little bit at a loss for how to commentate Chaos Mode. It feels very similar to the, the ordinary game, but we just have, we have combat coming from a lot more different places. Yes, we can clear that. We can pick that up. And that is 10 for us. Let's head into the palace. And uh, what I'm noticing is that we're not seeing any crossroads. And so we're going to actually need to find our way into a land of eternal motion in order to save and quit. And so I'm thinking probably that's something I want to do pretty soon. I don't really feel like uh, I want to extend this out too much more. I feel like we have, we have accomplished some stuff. Uh, we have certainly had an adventure, and playing Chaos Mode is going to be interesting. Future tasks, future things that I want to do. I definitely want to get our 25 Phoenix Feathers so that we have a little bit more flexibility in saving. And uh, and then it's, it's gonna, we're going to have to kind of decide, alright, so what are we going to do beyond Chaos Mode? I feel like we have seen what Chaos Mode offers us, and uh, and now it's just, it's a question of, so how are we, you know, what kind of adventures are we going to have while we are here? And I am just not seeing, you know, it's, it's very frequent that I do not see things that are on screen, but I am so far not seeing a land of eternal motion for us to duck into. Certainly seeing a lot of lands, and that is one kind of benefit of Chaos Mode, is you never have to go far if you're looking for just an exit, and, and you don't really care what land you're going into. Now that doesn't happen to us very often, we're usually very choosy about what lands we go into, and uh, this, you know, right now is no different. We're really looking for just a couple of different things. And uh, this mirrored land will probably be a little bit easier for us to navigate, uh, simply because we don't have a lot of treasures and it's a very wide open land. Uh, the zebra has a tendency to spawn near lands of eternal motion, uh, but the zebra is so dangerous that it might not actually be worth trying. You know, we can poke our heads in, don't see much uh, of use. It is very nice being able to enter and exit the zebra at any bridge. We don't have to worry about uh, where bridges line up with gaps in the walls. And so that's, you know, that makes, I think, dealing with the zebra quite a bit easier in, in that respect. And here we go. Here's the land of eternal motion. So now we're just looking for an orb. We can pick up Phoenix Feth. Oh my goodness. Uh, we might have some difficulty picking up Phoenix Feathers uh, because it looks like the no dipping rule may be in effect. In which case, treasures are not going to spawn pretty much anywhere in the Land of Eternal Motion. And that is... that could make things very difficult. Um, I don't know what the orb spawning rules are. I don't know if... The not dipping rule applies there. We've got a lot of minefields. 
So it looks like treasures are still spawning, at least for now. Which is, I, I believe that's the way the no dipping rule works, is... Uh, as as long as you don't have 25 treasures, they still have a chance to spawn. But uh, the, the chances decline pretty quickly. And uh, we're getting, you know, more and more heat, of course, with our increased threat level. And so that's going to make staying in the Land of Eternal Motion harder and harder. And we're just not seeing what we need to see. And that is, that is frustrating. And so, you know, just like I was talking about last time, this is an opportunity to kind of look at what the game is doing and say, you know, game... I'm not going to, you know, you're not going to get a reaction out of me. All right, so here's a bunch of treasures all right next to each other. So that's that's very lucky, and that's going to get us up to 17. I think we can get up to 18 here. That was pretty good. And so that'll that'll give us the opportunity, you know, if we can get up to 25, that'll get us the opportunity to find uh, orbs of safety in other lands. Still not seeing one. Oh, there's one. So that may not be the first one that we've passed, but it's the first one I've noticed. So we're going to wrap it up there. In the next episode, we're going to have to decide what it is we're going to do. Um, setting to sea is actually something I've been considering because we have not been to Relia in quite a long time, and the Orb of Teleport, very useful orb. Uh, the Temple of Cthulhu is, of course, very fun. And uh, we might continue doing 25 treasure challenges. I don't know how well that will work in uh, Chaos Mode, but I, I don't know, you know, I don't know how the code's going to be behaving. I don't know if there are exceptions to the rules in here. That seems very likely. Uh, so there's a lot to discover about Chaos Mode still. And we will have to discover that in future episodes. Until then, thank you very much for watching. And have a great rest of your day.